What is a memory leak in C Sharp? Memory leak in C Sharp happens when a program allocates memory by creating objects, but it actually fails to release them once these objects are no longer needed. In C Sharp, the memory leaks are actually less common compared to unmanaged languages such as C or C++, since we have the garbage collector, but they still can happen and can be quite difficult to detect and fix. Before we get to the code examples, let's quickly discuss the most common causes of memory leaks in C-sharp. These are unmanaged resources, event handlers, static members, large object heap fragmentation, and references in collections. When using unmanaged resources, you need to make sure that you properly release them, otherwise this can lead to memory leaks. In the case of event handlers, if you don't unregister the event handlers, this can prevent the garbage collector from deallocating their memory. The static members also need to be managed properly, otherwise they can hold references to objects and this prevents these objects from being released by the garbage collector. The large object heap fragmentation, the large objects are managed in a separate heap. Any object that is greater than a certain size, which is currently 85,000 bytes, is considered a large object. And if these large objects are not properly managed, this can cause memory leaks as well. And the last common cause of memory leaks in C-sharp are references in collections, holding references to objects in collections, such as lists, dictionaries, and so on, for longer than needed, can prevent the garbage collector from reclaiming that memory. Now let's take a look at some of the most common mistakes that programmers make, which can cause memory leaks. So let's take a look at the first code snippet, which uses unmanaged resources. If you take a look at this line of code, we create a file stream object, which opens our file, and then we can use it to perform file operations, such as reading or writing to the file. The problem here is that we are not properly releasing the file stream object, which can cause memory leaks. What we want to do instead, we use the using statement, which makes sure that the file stream dispose is automatically called, even if there's an exception inside our code. Right here, if there's an exception, still the file stream dispose is going to be called and our object is going to be destroyed once it is no longer needed. Okay, now let's take a look at the second code snippet, where we're going to discuss why, if you don't unregister your event handlers, this can lead to memory leak. Now, let's take a look at the code. I have two classes. I just put them in my program CS file, so that it's easier to see them. I have two classes. The first one is publisher. The second one is subscriber. In my publisher class, we have an event, which is called event, and a method, which is raise event, which actually calls the event, triggers the event, if there are any subscribers. And then we have the subscriber class, and this is the subscriber class constructor, where the class subscribes to the publisher's event. And then we have the handle event method, which is actually the event handler, which responds to the event. And then inside my main method, I create two objects, the publisher and the subscriber, and once the instance of the subscriber is created, this creates a strong reference from the publisher to the subscriber via the event handler. And the memory leak issue here is that the subscriber does not unsubscribe from the event when it is no longer needed. This actually means that for as long as the publisher exists, it holds a reference to the subscriber which prevents the garbage collector from reclaiming the subscriber's memory. So let me show you how you can change the code in order to fix this issue. Okay, in order to fix the issue, we're going to make several changes. The first one is uh, this. We are going to change the subscriber class to implement the iDisposable interface. And in order to do that, we need to add the 
this pose method where we're going to add this code here. Publish. And Operation. Okay, so this is the dispose method, which actually unsubscribes from the publisher's event. And this breaks the reference from the publisher to the subscriber. And the second change we're going to make is, again, we're going to use the using statement. So right here, let me just delete this code. We're going to go using. Subscriber, subscriber equals new subscriber. Publisher and again, when we use the using statement, the subscriber. Pose is automatically called. Okay. Again, as I stated before, even if there's an exception inside the using statement, the subscriber this pose is going to be called automatically. In summary, by unsubscribing the event handler in the dispose method right here, the reference from the publisher to the subscriber is removed. And this demonstrates the importance of detaching the event handlers to prevent memory leaks in C-sharp. Okay, now let's take a look at another code example which demonstrates the improper use of static uh, members which can cause memory leaks. I have a class which is called data cache and I have a static list of strings which is called cache. And then we have a simple method add data where we add to the list. Okay, since this is a static list, it will remain throughout your application, which means that even if you create a object data cache, and then after that you destroy the object, this list is going to remain. And if you keep adding to this list, it is going to grow indefinitely, and this can get out of control. Now, obviously, if you add let's say one two or three times a few items each time there's no problem but if you keep adding over and over to this list it is going to grow indefinitely and it can cause memory leak so you need to properly manage this static list so let me show you how okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a simple method yeah we can actually see the suggestions already I would actually call it clear cache and we don't need the string parameter and inside our method we are going to reset the cache to now and we're going to use lazy loading and Okay. And it is going to be cache here yeah, as well. Okay, so we made two changes. The lazy loading, it's a very small optimization, but basically uh, this list is going to be created only this method is called for the very first time. And the second, which is the more important uh, change, I have created a clear cache method, which allows you to reset the cache. Basically, if you keep adding to your list, 
at some point you need to check its size maybe like uh, let's say you don't want this list to hold over 5000 items or whatever and in that case you can let's say save the list to your database or save the list to file or do whatever you want to do with this data and then you call the clear cache in order to reset the list and that way you're going to prevent its indefinite growing which can cause your memory leaks these are all the code snippets that i wanted to show you today so let's quickly recap how to prevent memory leaks in c sharp you should always properly dispose of unmanaged resources you should detach event handlers be cautious with the static members monitor and optimize the large object heap manage collection lifetimes use weak references and if you suspect that you have memory leak you should use the profiling and analysis tools visual studio has a built-in profiler and of course there are other third-party profilers which uh, might be easier to use or even have more features so it's up to you to find the appropriate tool which can help you spot the memory leaks and fix them and that was another quick tutorial from me which tried to explain what the memory leaks in C-sharp are and how you can prevent them. Thank you for watching.